All right, welcome to SoFlow TV again, everybody. It's your host with the most. So there is a new web series that is premiering today, the 15th. And this web series is filmed, recorded, written, edited, everything by a Jamaican. So I jumped on the I-95 South and headed down to the Miami Fort Lauderdale area to have an interview, sit down with this extraordinaire that is called Brilliant. Tune into the interview right now after watching a piece of the premiere and I hope you enjoy this interview. So for TV man with Daya. Many fucking times we gotta say the same thing. Oh, shut the fuck up when I'm talking. What are you trying to say? You know what I'm implying. Ready to make some real cash. How much you that? I need to pay. You know why you're issue? You never get a box on my hardcore Jamaican. Don't forget the bigger picture. When it comes to them things, I'm not a creation. Did you really think you were going to get away with it? I'm not going back in that lifestyle. You know, arts, man. Tell me. One room to your bitch now. As me I say, you not gone yet. All right, so welcome to SoFlow TV again, everybody. It's your host with the most. So today I am here with somebody I've been trying to get in touch with for the longest to sit down and do exactly what we're going to do today. Is talk about his projects on hand and a little bit about the man himself. Now I've told a lot of people about this. I've mentioned you many times on the platform. Yeah, I, see I that. keep telling people that this this brother is talented. I'm talking about actor, director, writer, like multi-talented, and of course a Jamaican himself as well, right? And finally, here he is, Mr. Brilliant himself. All right, so brilliant. Welcome to the platform, brother. Yes, so first, it's a pleasure. It's a All pleasure. right, it's a pleasure. I've been been wanting to get on the platform for so for so long. It's no it's no joke. Yeah, you know, busy. You busy. I'm busy. Yeah. You know, it go already. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All right. So I know you have something right now that's hot and cooking, and I, I really want to get to that. Right, but set this whole thing up for us. So. Let them know exactly who you are, like tell them some of your previous works and so on. Give them a, a heads up before we go into the main course. Yeah, well, I don't know, uh, my name is Brilliant. Um, I was given that name by a producer. I used to go by the name Alotip when I attempt to be an artist. And, um, <laughs> Wait, Alotip? <laughs> Alotip? <laughs> yeah. All right. yeah, and then... Um, after me reaching at the studio and the creativity and stuff from the writing is like it you know say brilliant and from that day that was like from 2008 up until now that name stick and everybody was similar with them say yo you're really brilliant after them see the work mm. you get the me I say um I did a, I did a um a lot of project and what really got me started was when I was, as I mentioned I was when I was attempting to be an artist and it was very expensive to shoot a um a video mm -hmm. expensive so I shot the first video but it took me like it took like two almost almost three months to get that video back mm. and I was like nah there's no way possibly take that long to edit a video so one day me and my girl um she we went to Walmart where I did a song I my studio set up in like a bedroom and stuff like that that was like from 2011 right mm -hmm. so we went and we went to Walmart and we we purchased a camera, it was a point and shoot camera for like $150 just for test out and we went and we set up our living room by a bunch of sheets and curtains and we decorate the living room and stuff and we shot the video called my sisters over and stuff like that, we shot the video and stuff and um, I edited it, it took me like a couple of hours to edit it and then when I put it up on YouTube it gained like, I think I put it up on JJ Everfrost or I think Akam Entertainment at the time and it gained like 20,000 hits in a week so I was like, God, wow from that point up until now, that's where I was like, you know what, I'm going to start doing this thing myself. Because if that guy take almost three months to give me that, and I did this in a couple of hours, 
then I don't need anybody else to do my stuff and from that point I've been like you know what this is this is oh I'm grasping 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 through it I paused from it for a little bit as it was, it was too much because I was running the studio and running um, shooting videos and stuff so it wasn't it wasn't really my calling at the time so I was like it, it, it's, it's, it's just me if I continue it's a long it's a long story but um, I divert from music to the creative part of stuff, you get what I'm saying? Because I find myself more like it's it's like a calling. Me me bringing people together and stuff like that. It's just like it, it's a, it's a great it's a great feeling. So I'm just stick yeah, to the yeah. just stick to the, the creative part of it. Divert from the music a little bit. All right. So let me let me say this. Let me jump in and say this. The name Brilliant really fit him. The name Brilliant really fit him because I've seen him work. I've actually worked with him before, right? Here. I tell us that don't mess up my son there. And I've seen him work and to watch him work actually work on a project from scratch and then see it come to fruition is like it is it's a it's a brilliant process. Yeah, that's that's the that's the only way I can put it. I don't know nobody else, and I'm very much into film and so I'm used to the music turn up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're the artists turn up. <laughs> yeah, think, you know, where everybody find that way that thing. So anyway, I'm interested in the art from that perspective, that angle, and that got me. One of the movies, he, he brilliant. Go ahead and tell them about a couple of your previous films they might have seen. So just give them a heads up, yeah, walk them into. Because <laughs> when I go and know enough people, it up on a whole different level enough. But I want I want I want you to get walked in. So you understand, say so he's been here putting in the work. Mm -hmm. Yeah the fir the first project as I mentioned was when I had the studio my first calling um, I did this project called Trilogy of the Game. Mm -hmm. That's my very, very first. I was like, let me test to see if I can do it. I want to tell us that I just saw that one today. Yeah, we just seen it today. We just seen it today. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> and, we see that and, and up until now, that project is still on my channel. I like, I'm, that, that, that project was like the, the stepping stone. I, I shoot that project. Didn't know nothing what I was, nothing, nothing at all. I never know nothing when I did that though. All of them just group up some friends and we say, yo, let's do this. And we shot that in like two days. Mm -hmm. We shot it in like two days. And it's like, everybody like it. You get the man say, it, it didn't get a big, big feedback. But for, for what we did, mm -hmm. they, 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 that pushed me to where I'm at now. Then my lead from that, then my first major project was Long Run Short Catch. Mm -hmm. okay. Long Run Short Catch. <laughs> that is the one now that really caught me. I'm going to say, whoever filmed that video here. I think, I think I left a comment on there. I said... I need to work with somebody like I need to work with you. Whoever made this video, please get in touch with me or something like that. Mm -hmm. I think that was the comment that I left on there. But long run short catch, go look on it. Yeah. Because that, that was the one that got my attention first. Mm -hmm. That was that was the first official project and that one as well, I didn't know nothing that or that I was doing. Um, the script was all over the place. Some of the well, I would say like sixty percent of the dialogues in there are improvs. Mm. And set. Um, I tell people for them to bring everybody together again. Which the, fir the first half of that movie was like 30 minutes. And when we saw it, I did it as a tester. Mm -hmm. Then when we saw how it come out, they were like, everybody everybody was like, no, we need to turn this into a full movie. Mm -hmm. So I went ahead and we went ahead. We actually took, believe it or not, it took us, I calculated the days, it took us four days to complete that project. Mm -hmm. Four days to shoot and edit. The whole shoot, movie? The, the whole movie. Can we, shoot, we shoot and edit. Men are like, sit down and sit down and work. As mm -hmm. it, I'm an independent person, I do everything myself, so if I shoot and edit, I can recognize my mistake right then, 
before I recognize it later and then I forgot revert back to everything. Oh. So my, uh, the, up until now, I'm going to that habit of shoot and edit. Same. So, so that, the whole of that project is like everything was improv. And then the killer of that project was when after it done, mm -hmm. the most tedious part of that was the audio. Hmm. We, rec we re because we did I didn't know what I was doing. Hmm. The audio from the camera was so bad. Everything in that project, we have to go back in the studio, re-record the audio, and then I have to match it back up to the 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 the, 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 the lip of the people. I couldn't tell. Artists. I couldn't tell. The body, the I body couldn't the tell. <laughs> Nobody knows. Every, know. si every <laughs> single audio from start to the end, we have to record back in the studio, sleepless night. Why? You get the yeah. And, yeah, and that project when we, when we did the um the theater premiere for that we, we did that we, we were supposed to do that I never forget this night I mean I carried that night all the way up to my success mm. when we did the first premiere for that it was like um we did we did an eight o'clock premiere and we did a ten o'clock premiere the eight o'clock premiere believe it or not so flow I only like two or three people show up did that so it was like yo this thing flop. But we still run it. <laughs> All right, stick up in, stick up in. Another thing, you hear what I'm just saying? Say it again, brother. About the premiere. Yeah, about eight, about eight, or, about eight, about, no, same way, about two or three people. We think it did flop. All right, and I have seen, I have seen this man premiere a movie, right? Pack a whole movie theater, and it was a proud moment for me because he had everybody stand at the playing of the national anthem. Now this is in the United States of America with that, right? A young, that, how would you classify yourself? Director, producer, actor, extraordinary, I mean... Because we have so much things under the belt, I call myself a creative director. A creative director. I've seen this young creative director pack a whole movie theater. Like, the premiere for that movie, was, the place packed. Every seat was packed, we were in there, me, brains went, and we enjoyed ourselves totally. And it was a great movie. And the energy and the feedback from everybody that was there was awesome. So to hear him say something like that premiere of that movie there, on the two or three people did show up, did show up, that tells you right there, say what? Don't stop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, don't but, stop. But you know what? The, the mercy of God that, that we never, um, let me show you all life funny. When I when I only two or two or I think three people, you know them three people that show up mm. was actually one of the cast member parents because they had to go to work so they show up early mm. just for watch and then the owner for the theater was like yo we gotta we got close we gotta close we gotta close what so I said no nah. and then she was, she, she was like start the movie start the movie I'm like no I'm not start I'm not start then the other premiere was the other premiere same night was mm. supposed to start at 10 only four people show up at like 9.55 only four people show up for the 10 o'clock and she was like, start the project, start must be like, no, we're not start. Mm -hmm. Book the theater or anything, we're not start right now. May I wait a look a bit? So from we'll put this for my life by 10 o'clock. Jesus Christ, people are sitting up on the floor. You know, Jamaican just typically late. Yeah, we just late for people everything. People are sitting up <laughs> on the floor. We have a we literally have to turn that, that premiere, we never forget that night. We have to literally turn back people because the theater was so packed. Mm. You get the message, you know, like when a vibes card tell the song play and stuff like people I'll be like, yo! People literally was yo pull up the part, they pull up the part, they pull up the part. Ah, look at the, the theater was like it was so like, damn. We went, we went from almost disappointed mm -hmm. to be like no overwhelmingly. Man. Over it like even the owner for the theater rushing back and be like, man, we need to do this again, we need to do this again. And she was the reason why I never did went back and do another premiere there. Mm. Because you, 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 she tried to, um, you know. Degrade the thing from the first, from the first, and within, and it's within the same night that you know. Um, if you had given it to her energy, you probably would have. I would have probably would have, would have stopped and probably would have more. Would, would, would I give up? Would I give up right now? Yeah. You get the message, but we keep, yeah. we keep the ball rolling, and it was it was a success. And up until wow. now, that move is still running. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So, me, me no no, I want to get into the the, the <laughs> new, I want to get into the new movie because I was away. Listen. <laughs> To my audience member out there, listen, I was away, right? And I wish I could have been a part of this project. I was away and I was seeing stuff from, because y'all know I travel a lot, so I was seeing stuff from, I was in Texas, and this man they are busy at doing things, and he told me about it before I left, that y'all may have something not coming or stuff flowing, it's going to be like, this are the next thing, and and of course, I kept looking, kept looking at myself, I'm not seeing nothing happen, and then, boom! I said, Lord, I have to reach back to Florida, fast enough, <laughs> because, yeah? I, 
and now it's here. What what am I talking about? Talk about the new series Born Bad. The new series called Born Bad. Fucking time, so gotta say the same thing. Boss. Shut the fuck up when I'm talking. What are you trying to say? You know what I'm implying. Ready to make some real cash? How much is that? Hundred k. You are your issue. You never get a box. I'm a hardcore Jamaican. Don't forget the bigger picture. When it comes to them things, me nah no. Here, shut up. Do you really think you were going to get away with it? I'm not going back in that lifestyle. You know, arts, man. Tell you. One name to your bitch now, as me I said. You're not gone yet. Born bad is, is something that I that I said that it's gonna be my baby that I'm gonna grow cause my mind goes so fast as soon as I finish with the next project I want to write something else again cause my always want to elevate and I find myself I do a bunch of projects that talk about um, Trilogy of the Game, Long Run Shark Catch, Maria, The Day I Cheat, um, may I forgot some of the titles? Yes. <laughs> the Hotel Room, <laughs> the hotel room. There's, there's so much, pay the price, there's pay so the much price. There's so much project my right shoot edit everything so I was like you know what instead of even even the Jamaican arrow move which we're gonna talk about mm -hmm. and thing that's coming up and thing but my right so much projects so I was like you know what I'm gonna create something that me can every idea I'm gonna come up with me can just dump it in it I'm saying and me say somebody says something to me one day I say you they know say brilliant your body numbs so I say you know a band band so mm. I'm gonna come, come up with the name and before me even before me even know the direction that I go with the project or anything like that, I say bond bond. Then I start calling people, never have no script, no not already. I start calling people and yo, I want to be this type of character. I start envision people and then what I did, I write the script based upon them personality so they can bring it up. And I tell you so from I can't wait to premiere this project. You know, so last night I so did up on um IG. Because I got to stay up with social media, right? And that's my thing there. Especially with anything we can catch and make a whole topic out of it to go up on YouTube or whatever. And I was on there last night, uh, Mr. Foot Hype. <laughs> right? Shout out to Foot Hype, Mr. Foot Hype. So it's Foot Hype in the movie. Yes. Yeah. So Foot Hype is in the movie. And the feedback under come, you go read the comment then. The feedback is overwhelming. Yeah. Yeah, it was uh, <laughs> well, just. see, I'm like, yo. Yeah, he had just posted it and it had like. Maybe really seven thousand or something um, views, thumbs up, comments, and a whole bunch of comments under it. I'm reading through the comments, and I'm like, yo, they're really, really feeling just him being there. So he's a strong presence. He's a strong um, social media presence, and of course, a big DJ was out there from when Mr. Footer Lockdown, um, best of the best, already. So he's well known in that arena as well, right? Yeah. So now you're bringing these people to the stage. Putting them in a acting format. If there's one thing I would like for you to do before we go any further, cause the people have always said so flow, try to influence a little youth about them thing there. There's a little youth out there somewhere, right? Remember I know I'm not reach a Hollywood yet and don't wait till the man reach Hollywood before and hop on the thing, right? If there's anything you could tell a little youth out there, we we'll have them same kind of dreams and visions they like where you have. Where, what would you tell them like? I'm gonna tell you the same thing that I tell myself every day. The first time I spend $500 by a camera, I look at myself and tell myself, I'm not wait for somebody to give me no work, I'm gonna create my own. You get what I say? That's the same thing I tell them. See, you have, to, you have to go out there and do your own. You can't sit down and wait for nobody and always remember this. And up until now, I tell all of my actors them can tell you, for one, when I depend, two things my actors them can say. Once my camera roll, I'm a different person. I'm mm -hmm. But once mm. I'm off the camera, I'm, I'm very positive. I always tell people this. Your friends around you are not the one that's going to make you who you are. Mm. You get the message? Strangers are the one that's going to break, that's, that's going to build you. And then your friends are going to follow after that. So don't sit down and wait on your friends to be like, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. You, be, you always, always lead. They're always going to tell you something. 
to break you down because they're afraid to do it. Mm -hmm. You get the man say, so you have to always just lead, always lead, always lead, always push, always push, always push, and best believe you're gonna follow. Because everybody, when I was first starting out, everybody that says don't, no, they want to. You get the man say, so don't All stop. Right. I like that. I like that. I hear the man say, basically invest in yourself, yeah. Yeah, invest, yes. invest in yourself. Don't wait for nobody for giving a phone call. Don't wait for don't wait for no, build your own brand. Everything follow after that. Be proactive. Get up, go out and do it. Yeah, have to get up and go out and do it. Yeah. All right. So tell us a bit more about this project, no man. Maybe you want here. Just a little bit more. Just set it up. What? What? All right. You have a premiere coming. It's it's gonna be um. Me not really. Uh, everybody a ball for a theater premiere for for this one, but the reason why I'm not doing a the theater premiere for this one is that I want to I want to give I want to reach a more wider audience. If I do the theater premiere, it's here. Right. And then what what I always run into like people always blow up my inbox and and stuff like that. Yo, when when I can when can I see this move? When can I do this? When can I do? So now that I ha I get a gain a connection to a more a major platform such mm -hmm. as Amazon and so forth. Where people can, you know, it's worldwide. People can get to can get to see my art now, and also, and actually the people them around me can actually get a wider push. So that's the, that's one of the main reasons why I'm not doing a theater premiere yet. Okay. All yet. right. All right. One thing I know for sure because I'm, my audience wants to know this for sure. Okay. So this this project, where can they once it once it's out? Where are they going to be able to get it? Access to it from? from if you have an Amazon account, mm -hmm. you'll be able to just go there and view it on the 15th. It's already it's, it's it was published today, but I put the the video private to release on the 15th, so no one won't be able to see it until the 15th. All right, so y'all hear that? So the name of the the series is Barn Bad, and it's a series. Series. Right? It's going to be up to up to 10 episodes. All right, so it's a series up to ten episodes, and you can have access to it through Amazon. Through Amazon, all right. And uh, we actually we actually gonna do DVD um sales as well. The reason why I'm doing the DVD sales so flow is um we need we need a me alone do it. Right. You get that me answer. So instead of me, me not me not want to go out there and ask people for invest. Mm -hmm. So the DVD sales is more like the invest in the project to bring it far because. What we want people to understand the reason why I'm pushing so hard to, 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 to produce these high quality content. There's no Jamaican director that's doing it like what i right now. You get the message? So I'm trying to I'm trying to be the first to put because everybody knows Jamaica as reggae. Yes. Yeah. Reggae, 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 reggae. But we have a we have a lot more talent than just reggae. You get the message? True. We have a, we have a lot, lot more. We not say reggae, reggae our root, you know. Mm -hmm. We love that. We love that more, but if you look on America, America have the hip hop and America have the movie. Mm -hmm. You get the message? So we want to show, we want to show so Jamaica can produce high quality content as well. Not only high quality music, we have high quality visual as well. Yes. You get the message? So that's why, that's why I push so hard and I not, not see myself and stop anytime soon until Jamaica is on the map to say, yo, we can produce good movie. Because so when somebody a Jamaican movie, yeah, I mean, I see that. Until, yeah. them, until them see my movie, they true. be like, true. Oh, no. true. No. Now, you ever thought about filming in Jamaica? Yes, we're actually um, looking to do a couple of episodes down in Jamaica. It's going it's gonna, to it's gonna lead up to that. We're actually, we're actually planning a, well, I'm planning a trip to do an episode in um, New York for um, episode 3. Mm -hmm. And then from New York, it's supposed to lead back to Miami, back to Jamaica. Uh, so, right. so we we are do, we are gonna do a um, couple episodes in Jamaica, like probably like three or four episodes in Jamaica. Cause what I want, the main reason why I want to do that is, um, there's a lot of talent down there. Mm -hmm. And remember when me did in a school, believe it or not, Miss Dana, uh, one of them, you know them call them special classes, don't class them. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> Serious? Let me tell you that them. Miss Dana, one of them, one of them don't class them. But we used to, we used to write like the teacher used to like. Surprising that when, when we used when she used to do a look at task them, I used to write me look a poem them and look a book them and so she was like, Yo, you're you're a very good writer, but nothing else we could do. Yeah, kind of an interest in that. Much everything me here. But writing when it comes to that, uh, yeah, like yeah. my thing that I yeah. Yeah. I mean that you know somebody have the talent to do that. That's why right now, believe it or not, when I write a script, I write it in a like me tell my actors them say, Yo, 
I still send out the script, man, and the script not right. And then I just sit down there and come and like, drive on the highway because I shoot seven days a week. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, drive on the highway. I drive on the highway, I have a thought. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I just pull up on Dunkin' Doon, and da 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 review it, boom, send it after the act, and I shoot it the following weekend. Boy, you're a thing unorthodox. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, would, I would never miss a beat. And it works for and you. And it worked it work for me. Yeah. Everybody have them way or them thing work. Your thing will work for you. Yeah. Keep it up, you brother. Yes, man. Keep it up, you brother. Uh, here you are. In closing, in closing, you're ready to close. Reiterate what you want this audience to know. Mm -hmm. All right, so more everybody to know that support, support what I am doing, cause more more build this thing to another level, and me 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 no want me, me, me kind of feel certain type of way when me see them degrade Jamaican films I don't care if it's bad or mm -hmm. good when I say Jamaica do too much gangster film or too much killing of Guana Jamaica I'm glad you touched on that because yes, I did, I'm glad you touched on that not to cut you off but yeah. I didn't want to go there I wanted you to come so now that you're there with it, go on yeah man, I have to talk about it because yeah. I, and I was waiting to talk about it because I want to depend on a large platform to mention that yes you get me and say um, we, need, we as Jamaicans we need to stop tear down your own self because when, when i talk about say a jamaican put out a, a, a gangster film first thing that i say i be a violence i be a killing too much killing i go on a jamaica but american films mm -hmm. them shot police mm -hmm. them rap banks them, 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 them do thing, all this thing. type of thing and we are going to spend the the, the, the the 18 dollar the 16 dollar pound ticket for watch it and then post it online and make memes out there and say this bad this all of that all of that stuff you get the asset, so we need, even though our we not we not reach a load standard where we can where we can get care for blow up building for blow up all that type of mm -hmm. stuff. Then not because you have a degree rigorous you can understand this. A visual does not have an influence on the youth them. You get the asset in a negative way. Everyone have to have that have that 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 mentality to be like to 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 can separate fiction from reality. Mm -hmm. You get the message so we can't blame. A Jamaican film said that's why the youths them do this because if I saw the case American project they would have been banned and would have been shown in Jamaica. Facts. You get me? I say so we need to support our own and stop tear it down. Especially when me a try build. You get me? I say we need for sure say yo we can pro because as a so far say the last premiere that I did, believe it or not, I would say eighty percent of my crowd was not Jamaicans. Mm -hmm. It was a mixed school where we talk about old people, young people, white people, Mexican, all different type of race and it, it was a good feeling. True. You get the message? It was a very good feeling. So yeah, it, it, it was a product shown in a in a in a um, in America, but there's a lot of Jamaican here as well. So our message is we need to support we support yourself. Just like our push dance, mm -hmm. we need to push Jamaican films to the forefront. If it's a bad film, yeah, it's a bad film. But if it's a good product, Take it and put it to the forefront. Don't just demean it and say, yo, this is a garbage. It's not. It's not. You get what I say? Yeah. Push it to the front. Whatever we do, push it to the front. We need to support one another. Well said. I couldn't have said it no better. Exactly. And I've been that's my that's my thing. I've said that many, many, many times before. But you hear it from him again, right? Go out and support these projects. Support this man right here. Because truly. The, name, the man sent it in a dance class. I don't know how I ended up with a name. Brilliant. Yes. Yeah, you see never, what I'm never, saying? I never forget that one. Yeah, I see that. I end up with a name. Brilliant. All right. Positivity. And that's what I deal with. All right. So, big up on yourself, SoFlow TV. On a like, comment, share, subscribe. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Give Brilliant all your feedback. I'm sure he's going to be watching and reading the comments them. You know what I say? And them kind of something there. And I look forward to seeing these seeing me want to party night too that's all we have to talk about so yeah we want to go somewhere after go squeeze me in there brother so yeah born bad born bad born bad born bad, born bad. Born bad. and for, and for, for touch base on a part we did mention um when we never did get the for, for, for um comment on the part when they mentioned um the feedback from footer eye mm -hmm. um fan base and stuff like that and as that's that's the, that's one of the reasons I put Futa Hype as one of the, the main characters in the project as Jamaican. Don't forget the bigger picture. When you come to them things, I'm not a creation.
well. Not only film fan base, but Futa Hype is a is a brother who have who have a lot of talent. Futa is a staple in, in, in our culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He and him have, him have a talent and him have a very, very, very large fan base where he can influence the youth them and they use him fan base in a positive way. Right. So that's something I say, you know, come in, come get come on, come in on this project. You get the man and he was willing because Futa I Mr. Futa I ready for the acting, he was ready for ready the for acting, the and he's a beat. Alright. <laughs> So trust me, when I say when you check it out, never see it from the cell phone and watch it and we have a new trailer of a premiere. They get the me I say um trailer two um for the for the for the premiere on the 15, but may I tell you, when you watch this, when you, when you not, when you not be bored, it's less gunplay, you get the me I say it's full of drama, it's full of mystery, it's full of everything, so it is full of suspense more than anything else. You get the message and, and believe it or not, I'm tell you this. I'm more and remember when this the day when this post, mm -hmm. I can't go in a date right now when I do the interview. But from the day this post, I mm -hmm. want to come back to it a year from now and remember what I'm telling you this. Said, this is going to be the next power. Aye. A year from now, not two, three, not two or three or four years from now, a year from now, this is going to be the next power in the Jamaican market. Alright. And we look forward to that. Yes. Alright. Big up yourself for and bless up the brother. Yes, my boss. Alright. Thanks for having me. Yeah man, anytime. More prosperity. So Flow TV, we out of here. Peace. Peace. Many fucking times you gotta say the same thing. Boss. Shut the fuck up when I'm talking. What are you trying to say? You know what I'm implying. What if you make some real cash? You know what your issue? You never get a box of my hardcore Jamaican. Don't forget the bigger picture. And when you come to them things, you're not a creation. Did you really think you were going to get away with it? I'm not going back in that lifestyle. You're not a ox, man. Tell me. One of them three bitches now. As me I said, you're not going yet.